Hit Squad. I'm back with another video. And today is going to be another sit down video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight to it. Today, I'm going to be talking about red flags in friendships and relationships. And when to let go. Um, red flags in friendships and relationships. When you're around somebody, right, significant other, your friend, whatever you want to call them, um, if they're acting in any funny type of way, like they're not acting how they usually would act, then that means that something's going on, you know, um, If you guys are used to hanging out, having fun, and doing what y'all usually do, dancing or even talking, but then this next time that you see them, they're not talking, they're not having fun, they're not doing any of that, then something's going on, you know. Now, it could be in their relationship or whatever, but sometimes, especially if you're their really close friend, then they should be able to tell you anything. If they're not telling you something, then something's going on. Now, a red flag could be they um not even just don't talk to you because I, when I'm around my friends, I don't I'm the quiet one out of all of us. So if they're like being distant or whatever, and you try talking to them, and they don't talk to you or they tell you to get away from them, or anything like that, then that's a red flag, um, a red flag in relationships, same thing in friendships, if, if, when you guys are on a date, and that person flips their phone over, so you can't see who's texting them, or you ask them where they're at, or ask them what they're doing, and it seems sketchy in their voice that they're doing something else when they're not supposed to be. That's a red flag. Um, when to let go. I feel like it's time to let go when you feel like yourself that you can't do it anymore. If you feel like you're getting sad in that relationship or friendship if you are um if you're not feeling the same way that you were when you first got with them or the same way that you felt when you first started when you guys first became friends then that's when you should let it go um If you feel like, if you feel negative energy coming from them, then try and talk to them. If that doesn't work, then it's time to let go, you know. Um, I learned from my preacher, he said, today, just today, he said, five people that you cannot help. And he said, the people who don't want the help. If you know that your friend has a problem and you try helping them and they don't want it, then just back off. You know, you can't force it to help them. If they don't want it, they tell you they don't want it. Or if you tell, or another one was who think they don't need the help, who know they need the help, but don't take the help. You can't help them. So if they know that they need help from you or anybody else, but they don't take the help, just fall off. You know, that's another red flag. You try helping them, but they don't want help. That's in a relationship, too. If you try and help your significant other, but they don't want it or they won't take it, then that's a red flag for you to go. You know, because you're doing everything you can in your power 
to help them with that relationship or speaking from a friend's advantage like you try helping them in that relationship but they don't want the help um or in your relationship you try helping them out with something and they don't want it then that's your red flag to leave um maintaining a balance between friendships and relationships now me I mean, it's like you have your friends and then you have the significant other that you're with the rest of your life or that person that you're with for that amount of time, right? Now, there's times when you can, there's times when you can have friend time with You can hang with your friends and there's time that you need to hang with your significant other. It can't always be about your friends. Because you live with your significant other. You know, if she's she's sick, don't go out with your friends. You know, if if she wants you to spend time with her, then go on ahead and spend that time with her. Don't... um, neglect her and be like no I'm going to hang out with my friends or some girls like to go with you when you hang out with your friends don't be that tight oh no you can't hang with us as boys night let her go with you guys you know um, we have to stop neglecting our women for wanting to go with us somewhere. if they want to go let them go If they want to go with you to hang out with your friends, let them go, you know? There's no point, there's no reason why they can't go. Um, We, same with, I mean, of course us dudes don't want to go with you, with you, like with you and your girls whenever y'all go out. Because whatever you guys are doing, we don't like to do it. That's understandable. Affects friendships and relationships. Now, when you're on social media, social media affects everything in a relationship and in a friendship. They could put out business that's not not theirs to put out. You know, somebody can make up stories about you and then your significant other sees it or your friend sees it. And then you guys get into an argument, and that's not good. That's why I don't put my business out. Yes, my social media knows that I'm in a relationship, but they don't know what we have going on. You know, they don't know if we get into an argument. They don't know if we don't if we break up. They don't know if they're not gonna know anything. They don't know anything. The only thing they know is that we've been together for a year. That's how it's supposed to be. They can know how long you guys are together, but they don't even know your business. You know, so whatever you're going through, do not put it on social media. If you guys break up, do not put it on social media. If she cheats on you or he cheats on you, do not put it on social media. Um, Anything that's bad in your relationship that's going on, do not put it on social media. Because then somebody, or even when you, even if you don't do that, then you could go out somewhere and without your partner and your girl and a random girl at wherever you go can put up something about you and say, oh, he was with me and da 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 And that can affect your relationship or friendship. Because it can happen the same way. You can go out somewhere and then, some, and then the same girl says something. Or another girl says something about your friend and tries to claim that you said it about them. That can affect your relationship or your friendship. Mm. We, that's why we have to stop putting our business out. Not even putting our business out, but staying out the line right. You know, if you go into a club, make sure you only with that the people that you went there with. Do not go around anybody that you do not know.
you know, um, make sure that nobody knows who your friends are or who you're in a relationship with. Like, do yes, my social media knows who I'm in a relationship with, but they don't know what her social media handles are. The only people who know that are my sisters, you know. Um, that's another way to kind of stay out of tox toxic relation like toxic things happening in that friendship or relationship is keeping your friends or that significant other that you are with off of social media. Don't put anything about them on social media or don't even take pictures or something on social media. Because they can try, anybody can try and do something and make it look like you did something bad when you really didn't. Um, everybody, like, I've seen on YouTube, um, there's a YouTuber that I watch, Pontiac Made DDG, he was in a relationship. And he made a song called Arguments. And he was with a girl named Kennedy. And he had the same problem. They're, basically all their um, business was put out on social media. Because they're social media stars. They do YouTube. So all their um, business was put out there. But like I just said. A girl that didn't know him or anything tried to say something about him that wasn't true and then his the girl that he was with Kennedy believed it and it's just like you know how do you know it's true you know he could have just been by himself and they just tried to catch him off guard to try to make him look single or whatever you know but social media can play a big role in you being single, especially if you're big on social media. It can break your friendships up. It can break your relationships up because people post things about them and they think that it's you when it's really not, you know. And in 2020, it's like people do not know. They believe anything that's put on social media, right? It's like. You post something and somebody automatically thinks it's about them. It's like, no, it wasn't even about you. It's just a general post. You know, we have to think like that. But again, like I said, it's 2020. So that's not even make any sense. Um, how technology affects friendships and relationships. Now, when you're on social media. Social media affects everything in a relationship and in a friendship. They could put out business that's not they like not theirs to put out. You know, somebody can make up stories about you, and then your significant other sees it, or your friend sees it, and then you guys get into an argument, and that's not good. That's why I don't put my business out. Yes, my social media knows that I'm in a relationship, but they don't know what we have going on. You know, they don't know if we get into an argument. They don't know if we, don't, if we break up. They don't know if they're not going to know anything. They don't know anything. The only thing they know is that we've been together for a year. That's how it's supposed to be. They can know how long you guys are together, but they don't even know your business. You know, so whatever you're going through, do not put it on social media. If you guys break up, do not put it on social media. If she cheats on you or he cheats on you, do not put it on social media. Um, anything that's bad in your relationship that's going on, do not put it on social media. Because then somebody, or even when you, even if you don't do that, then you could go out somewhere and without your partner and your girl... And a random girl at wherever you go can put up something about you and say, oh, he was with me and da 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 
and that can affect your relationship or friendship because it can happen the same way. You can go out somewhere and then some, and then the same girl says something or another girl says something about your friend and tries to claim that you said it about them. That can affect your relationship or your friendship. Um, we, that's why we have to stop putting our business out. Not even putting our business out, but stay out the line. Like, you know, if you go into a club, make sure you only with that the people that you went there with. Do not go around anybody that you do not know. You know, um, make sure that nobody knows who your friends are or who you're in a relationship with. Like, do yes, my social media knows who I'm in a relationship with, but they don't know what her social media handles are. The only people who know that are my sisters, you know. Um, That's another way to kind of stay out of toxic relation, like toxic things happening in that friendship or relationship is keeping your friends or that significant other that you're with off of social media. Don't put anything about them on social media or don't even take pictures or something on social media because they can try it. Anybody can try and do something and make it look like you did something bad when you really didn't. Um, Everybody, like, I've seen on YouTube, um, there's a YouTuber that I watch, Pontiac Made DDG. He was in a relationship and he made a song called Arguments. And he was with a girl named Kennedy. And he had the same problem. They're basically all their um, business was put out on social media because they're social media stars. They do YouTube. So all their um, business was put out there. But, like I just said, a girl that didn't know him or anything tried to say something about him that wasn't true. And then his, the girl that he was with, Kennedy, believed it. And it's just like, you know, how do you know it's true? You know, he could have just been by himself and they just tried to catch him off guard to try to make him look single or whatever, you know, but social media can play a big role in you being single, especially if you're big on social media, it can break your friendships up, it can break your relationships up, because people post things about them, and they think that is you when it's really not, you know, and in 2020, it's like, People do not know. They believe anything that's put on social media, right? It's like you post something and somebody automatically thinks it's about them. It's like, no, it wasn't even about you. It's just a general post, you know? We have to think like that. But again, like I said, it's 2020, so that's how people think these days. And I'm only 18 and I don't even think. I see stuff all the time on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and all of that. And I don't believe that it's about me. I'll be laughing about it, you know, because I know my friends do not say I don't do anything to them. If I'm around them, first of all, I don't talk to nobody about them besides my grandma, (laughs) you know. So, and it's all good things whenever I talk to to my grandma about them. So, um, when... So they already know, like, I don't even, whatever they tell me, I keep my mouth shut. Don't nobody know what they tell me, you know, and that's how it's supposed to be. Um, Don't nobody know what's going on with them on social media or anything. I keep that stuff to myself. Don't nobody know what's going on between me and my girlfriend because me, excuse me, me and my wife. Because I keep it to myself. 
you know, I don't put our business on social media. Neither of ours, my friends or my relationship on social media. Like I said, the only thing that they know is that I'm in a relationship. They don't know what we got going on. They don't know. If they will never know if we're going to break up, but we're not. But the, if we do, they're not going to know about it. Um, if we stop being friends, if me and my friends stop being friends, social media is not going to know about it. That's how it's supposed to be, you know, because, again, social media is another way that can mess up. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.